Wotani, Wotani, Wotani. Dare to dream, dare to believe, dare to think, dare to work. Only then do you achieve. Motani signing on. Learn to Google everything before you ask questions. Learn to Google everything, everything you're worried about before you ask questions. Because if you do not find the answer on Google, then definitely you will find a better way to ask the question. If you do not find the answer on Google, then you will find a better way in which you can ask the question. Top of the afternoon from the busiest street in the northwest, Commissar Avenue, Bamenda. For the next 60 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, my goal here is to keep that fire burning within you. So you never give up on that thing, that goal, that vision that keeps you burning while others are asleep. That thing that you believe deep down in your gut, you can make it happen or you can make it better. I will attempt to do so with words, music and poetry. Only on FM 98.5, Dream FM, the radio for peace and development. Man in the 1001 buttons on the panel mixer, call him the indefatigable to Clinton. And general supervision comes in from no other but station bus, real our maker power. On the MIC today, call me, motivational speaker, call me, spoken word artist, call me, your humble, Tani D. Awa, a.k.a. Motani. very much welcome once again uh, uh, it's been a while it's been a while with the frequent power failures we hardly had our programs live but thanks to the grace of God we are here today ladies and gentlemen and we continue from where we left off on last program last program we were talking about how do you get able how will you be able to get your customers to be able to desire just your product your product and only your product how do you how are you able to make sure to get your your customers, get your friends, get your loved ones closer to you so that you can also make a meaning in their lives and also you can also impact their lives. For business people, they worry about how do I get people to consume just my product? How do I get them to keep coming back for more of my product? That is what we were handling last time. And we talked about one of the ways which had to do with using encouraging words on your loved ones, using encouraging words on your customers, using encouraging words on your business associates, and using encouraging words on your friends and even your colleagues. That is how you get them to keep coming back for more from you. Yes. Today we continue with the same, we continue on the same light, and we are going to be looking at the second way in which you can be able to get customers to desire just your product or just your service. The second way in which you can get 
your family members to like being in your presence to be able to feel comfortable around you the second way in which you can also get your friends you can also make impact use it to make impact in the lives of your friends your colleagues and your loved ones it wouldn't that be wonderful if you just knew you these ways and remember on motani on fm 98.5 we say don't believe what we say just try it don't believe it just try it and the course of this program too ladies and gentlemen you will be able to savour savour the latest and the trending uh, spoken word in town the trending the latest and the most trending spoken word in town that is along my way that was released last week by motani you're going to savour that particular piece only fans of dream fm get to savour wonderful stuff like that so you will also be getting along my way at the end of uh, 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 in the course of this program so before we begin the program ladies and gentlemen i think we should begin with the along my way let's savour along my way it has been premiered on youtube on facebook it has been premiered all over on all radio stations and also internationally and now the lovers and fans and supporters of dream fm you have to enjoy this just savo along my way by motani a spoken word piece yo innocent happy and pure contagious sincere laughter beautiful world trustworthy loving and caring people for sure the green grass the refreshing breeze blowing through my skin as i shiver along my way through the life i have come to realize though you smile with me you are not for me though we laugh together actually you laugh at me though we walk the same path we walk at a different pace and though you turn your back on me watch your back cuz you won't see me coming and i will fight hard to win my race though you may predict my future i alone will determine my destiny along my way along my way i have come to know that i need to forgive your betrayal not for you but to liberate myself and grow i need to go all out there and fight and not waiting for someone else to make my dreams come true i need to be no one else but myself i was born an original and should not die a copy of someone else i need to stand for what i believe or i will fall for anything I need to make sure I do all I can do because all I can do is enough along my way along my way I have come to accept that it's okay if you don't believe in my dreams for the dreams of one man lend not its wings to another it's okay to walk in a team for we are each of us an angel and can only fly while holding each other It's okay to try and fail but when I fail I don't give up but rather take a different strategy for it is a necessary condition to succeed I will always console myself with the phrase I will win if I do not quit It's okay if you decide to be an obstacle for it is your personal business but get ready to get knocked down and knocked out It's okay to fail for it is step 1 of my flying It's okay. Along the way, I don't care if a door has ever been opened. If I try today and it does not open, I will come back tomorrow and take the hinges off, for I know I will have to fight some battles more than once to win them. I don't care where I have been, for I have to stop looking at where I have been and start looking at where I can be. I don't care if you're with me or not but I know if you push someone up the mountain you will end up somewhere around the summit 
I don't care when I get no as an answer, for it is a question and it's necessary to stimulate my creativity. I don't care if I get wet, for I want to feel the rain. Along my way, I have come to conclude. We are all dying, but a very few are actually living. Along the way, I have chosen to live life to the fullest, enjoy every minute of every day, and whatever I have to do, I will do it now, for there are so many tomorrows, and I have guarantee of being in known. The vision that I glorify in my mind, the ideal that I enthrone in my heart, this I will build my life by, this I will become along my way. You have just served there along my way a spoken word piece by the award-winning uh, spoken word artist here in the Northwest, uh, Motani. And uh, that's an amazing piece. And ladies and gentlemen, that, has, that, that piece was released uh, on the 27th of July on uh, YouTube. You can get along my way on YouTube. Just type Motani, M-O-20-A-T-W-N-I. Then you add along my way to it and you'll be able to get that sound, that wonderful and inspirational sound piece. And uh, the instrumentals of that sound piece, the wonderful guitar you get at the background and the wonderful mixing comes from no other person but Mark Bila, another wonderful artist where we have here in the Northwest. And also the vocals, the amazing vocals, the life-giving vocals came from none other but our own great award-winning artist we have in the Northwest. Call her no other person but Ayea Leonette. And here are Leonet. That was along my way, ladies and gentlemen. We continue with how do you get your customers to keep coming for more? How do you get how do you get to build that close relationship with your family, with your with your parents? How do you get to build that close relationship with your, your loved one? How do you get to build that close relationship with your customers? How do you get to build that close relationship with your friends? Remember, the family is the fundamental unit of the society. So, if you want to build close relationship with friends, colleagues, business partners, and associates, you must begin by learning how to build close relationships with family members, even though sometimes and most times you disagree on their belief, you disagree on their ideas. How do you still still disagree and agree? How do you still continue to disagree agreeably? And how do you get to get them closer? So that you, both of you can make more impact in each other's life. And both of you can also live peacefully and in, in harmony. We are going to see that right away. Always talk about our families are the most important thing in life. In fact, there is a quote that says that family is not the most important thing in life, family is everything. Family is everything. By the same token, for every business, they always say the customer is everything. The customer is everything. The customer is that single person that can fire everybody in the business at any time he or she chooses chooses so we keep saying most business you will see their their we call it battle cry or you will see their the highest phrase they use there is it is customer first it is customer first it's just as people family people will say it is family first the challenge is how much time do you spend with your customers how much time do you spend with your customers how much time do you spend with your family members 
So using the family as an analogy, you can also just somehow use it in the context of business, use it in the context of friendship, and use it in the context of any relationship in which you find yourself in. So the question is this. How much time do you spend with your business associates? How much time do you spend with your customers? How much time do you spend with your clients? How much time do you spend with your parents, with your brother, with your sister, or with your children, or with your wife? This is leading us to the second thing or the second suggestion you can use to build close relationships in such a way that people will be able to enjoy and desire to be in your presence, which is quality time. Quality time. Quality time. How much quality time do you spend with your customers? Or you are just interested in giving them what you sell? Are you just interested in giving them exactly what you sell without even knowing whether it solves their problem? Without even listening to them to find out whether the service or the product you are providing, is it solving their problem? When we talk of quality time, we are talking about simply sitting together with your friend. Sitting together with your customer. Sitting together with your client. Sitting together with your wife, your children, your, your parents. Just looking at each other. Talking to each other and giving each other your, divide, your undivided attention. Or why not even walking or walking and talking together with your customers, with your family members. A central aspect about this quality time issue is togetherness. It does not mean proximity. It does not mean that you pull, get too close. But it means that the little time you give to whether it's your customer, your client, your family member, your friend, you give them your focused attention. You give them your focused attention. You decide to put away everything and just focus on them. Even put away the thoughts in your mind, the thoughts or the pre-thoughts you had about them. Put it away and focus on them. Focus on them. Having quality, having, having quality conversation with each other means that you have sympathetic dialogue. It's a sympathetic dialogue sympathetic dialogue where each the two of you the two individuals are sharing their experiences sharing their thoughts sharing their desires in a friendly uninterrupted in uninterrupted context let me say when are two she don't together when are the share when are experience when are the share when are thoughts when are the share when are feelings when are the share when are desires in a friendly way without it anybody interrupting each other Without anybody saying that, okay, I thought it's supposed to be like this. Without anybody saying that, okay, if not me, that's why I give a dua. No. You listen to your customer. Listen to the problem he or she is facing. And find out from yourself whether you have that product. Just listening to them makes them understand that you care. Make them understand that they matter. Makes them understand that you value them. Just sitting down with them and listening to them. But how many of us take time and listen? How many of us take time to listen to first our children, our wives, our customers, our clients, our business associates, or our friends? Most of the times we become very judgmental. When they start expressing their thoughts, their feelings, or their aspirations, the challenge is you, you, what you feel like is okay, let me just jump on and give an advice. Say, Grand, if na me, na swa for dua. When you use that statement, if Namin as well for dua, you don't really feel. Because most times, most people come to us with their troubles, not necessarily wanting solutions, but they just need someone to listen to them. Someone that can listen uninterruptedly to them. Someone that can listen to them without judging them. Someone that can listen to them and make them feel and make them feel important. And make them feel important. That's what most people desire most times. That's what most people desire most times. So, do you take time to sit down, maybe over a drink, over a plate of salad, talk to your customers. Sit down, talk to your wife. Sit down, talk to your friends or your business associates to find out what their problem really 
really is. Quality time, spending quality time with your family member, your, your family members, your close friends, and those in which you are in close relationship with has to do with also doing quality activities. Quality activities like doing things together. Doing things together that one or both of you enjoy. Doing things together that one or both of you enjoy. This is a very tricky one. Because most of us think that, okay, if I want to spend quality time with my friend, with my business associate, with my partner, with my uh, uh, colleague, we must be doing the things that I love. But that's not how it works. This is how it works. Just doing something with a friend, a colleague, or a business partner, or a close, uh, someone you're in close relationship with, that you do not enjoy, tells that person that you care. You care. So you must not also, you must not always do things that you love, but together join that person to do something you don't enjoy, something you hate. You're doing it for the sake of that relationship. You're doing it because you want to build a rapport. You want to build a relationship with that person that goes beyond the physical, something very deep. In such a way that whenever that customer has a, has a problem or needs a product or service, the first person that comes to their mind is you. Is you. So are you willing to get out of your comfort zone and do something you don't like with a customer, with a friend, with a loved one, with a partner, just because you value that relationship, just because you want to create that deep, that deep, uh, that deep uh, connection between the two of you? Are you willing? Because it is said that most of us, most of us like to talk about change. Most of us like to talk about riches. Most of us like to talk about fame. But we are not willing to pay the price. So are you willing to pay that price to do things you don't like with someone just because you value that relationship? Just because you want them, you want them to always think about you when it comes to this particular product or service? Are you willing? This takes me to, to the fact that we see a lot of business people in town. Most of them that are succeeding. Sometimes you always wonder, why do they sometimes visit their customers? Why, why is it that in, when their customers have any occasion, they are there? Why is it that they spend time with their customers? They go for lunch with their customers, even though they might, their business might not be giving so much profit. They have a drink with their customers and all that. Sometimes we look at it and we think that, okay, na shoshu, na shoshu, that grand one show, na But they have understood the business people have understood that business goes beyond just product and service. It, it is about building relationships. It's about building relationships in such a way that you can build that relationship and that person goes somewhere and sees something, see the same thing or the same service you're offering at a cheaper rate, but still decides to come back to you because of the feeling in which you have created with that person. The connection you've created between the two of you. So if we really want to, get our customers to be so somehow overwhelmed or addicted to our products. We need to go beyond supplying them the product, beyond giving them that product. We need to create that relationship with them. We need to get out of our comfort zones and do what we hate with them because they love it. Even if it means listening to a music that you don't like, the genre of music that you don't like with your customer because your customer enjoys it, you will have to do it. You will have to do it. That is the best way to build that rapport, to build that connection with them. If they would like going out for footy, once in a while you will have to join them. Even though you don't feel like running, but you will have to join them. If they also will have to, if they also like watching movies, once in a while you will have to. If they like going out, going out, dancing and drinking, once in a while it is good to join them. Because you only get to know them closely in this kind of social, social events. So... Are we willing to go out of our comfort zones so that we can spend quality time with our family members, with our partners, with our customers, with our clients, business associates, and friends? Activities like talking or walking together, shopping together, listening to music, dancing together, or singing. These are things that will build beyond product or beyond service relationships with your customers with your client with your brother with your sister with your parents or with your child with your child when we talk of spending quality time it is different from 
words of affirmation that we used last week words of affirmation we talked about last week which is about using encouraging words if you want to listen to that you can always check on Motani's podcast the Google Motani you go to Google Motani's Google podcast or Apple podcast or Spotify if you go there you'll be able to listen to the program of last week you'll be able to listen to it and then you'll know what we meant when we talked of, of uh, using words of affirmation on your loved ones and on your family just go to Google type podcast podcast.google.com then from there you search for Motani you'll be able to listen to past programs and enjoy and also get to build your skills with yourself always remember as Motani always says thou shall not believe what I say thou should try what I say and you will be surprised you will be surprised so words of affirmation they focus on what you're saying that you offer an encouraging word to somebody that was amazing that was beautiful that was spectacular that was magnanimous thank you very much for what you did thank you i appreciate it i love what you did those are words of affirmation that is focusing on what you're saying but when it comes to quality conversation the focus of quality conversation is what you're hearing it's what you're hearing the challenge is many of us are trained to analyze problems and create solutions but we forget to know that in most relationships be it marriage be it business be it uh, the associations or being friendship those things are not projects they are not projects that are to be completed or they are, they are not problems that you need to solve most people just want you to sit down with them and listen to them it is challenging it is really 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 challenging especially with us the guys sometimes to spend quality time with your sister your partner or with your children you ask yourself marriage should not be do it marriage should not be the look me man look you but that is very very important that is doing something that you don't like because you want to build a connection you want to be able to be of help to your loved one to be of help to your brother your sister your parents your wife your business partner or your associate so we need to learn to get out of that comfort zone next time when your customer or your wife or your partner or your brother or sister is bold enough to even tell you please spend some time with me forget about what you'll be doing during the time you're spending together but just be there just be there and focus just be there and focus on listening to them try to do things together with them even the ones you hate try to do them just that one hour just that two hours just that three hours will mean the world to them will mean the world to them it will mean everything to them if you can just take that time and listen just take that time and listen to them they will appreciate it so much it's going to cause a lot of connection connective fibers to be linked between the two of you it's going to cause cost a lot of emotional flow between the two of you it's going to give them a different feeling and it's about the feeling it's about the feeling it's about that feeling so ladies and gentlemen let me catch my breath at this point we are going to still premiere we are premiering along my way spoken word piece on uh, dream fm today so we are going to still go back to along my way spoken word piece by motani instrumentals by mark Bila, and also vocals from leonette and the sound engineer on this progress project was none other but dj radat of bahud records so you are going to sample along my way now you're going to sample along my way again Innocent, happy and pure, contagious, sincere laughter, beautiful world, trustworthy, loving and caring people for sure. The green grass, the refreshing breeze, blowing through my skin as I shiver. Along my way through the life, 
come to realize. Though you smile with me, you are not for me. Though we laugh together, actually, you laugh at me. Though we walk the same path, we walk at a different pace. And though you turn your back on me, watch your back, cause you won't see me coming, and I will fight hard to win my race. Though you may predict my future, I alone will determine my destiny. Along my way, along my way, I have come to know that I need to forgive your betrayal, not for you, but to liberate myself and grow. I need to go all out there and fight and not waiting for someone else to make my dreams come true. I need to be no one else but myself. I was born an original and should not die a copy of someone else. I need to stand for what I believe or I will fall for anything. I need to make sure I do all I can do because all I can do is enough along my way. Along my way, I have come to accept that it's okay if you don't believe in my dreams, for the dreams of one man lend not its wings to another. It's okay to walk in a team, for we are each of us an angel and can only fly while holding each other. It's okay to try and fail, but when I fail, I don't give up, but rather take a different strategy. For it is a necessary condition to succeed. I will always console myself with the phrase, I will win if I do not quit. It's okay if you decide to be an obstacle, for it is your personal business, but get ready to get knocked down and knocked out. It's okay to fail, for it is step one of my flying. It's okay. Along the way, I don't care if a door has ever been opened. If I try today and it does not open, I will come back tomorrow and take the hinges off, for I know I will have to fight some battles more than once to win them. I don't care where I have been, for I have to stop looking at where I have been and start looking at where I can be. I don't care if you're with me or not, but I know if you push someone up the mountain, you will end up somewhere around the summit. I don't care when I get no as an answer, for it is a question and it's necessary to stimulate my creativity. I don't care if I get wet, for I want to feel the rain. Along my way, I have come to conclude. We are all dying, but a very few are actually living. Along the way, I have chosen to live life to the fullest, enjoy every minute of every day, and whatever I have to do, I will do it now, for there are so many tomorrows, and I have guarantee of being in known. The vision that I glorify in my mind, the ideal that I am thrown in my heart, this I will build my life by, this I will become along my way. Along my way through life, I have come to realize that it is not how fast you go, but how far you can go. And if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go with people. If you want your business to go far, Go with your clients. Grow with your clients. If you want to go far in business with your relationships, then you must be able to sometimes do what you are comfortable with. Just because that person, that client, that partner, that, that uh, friend loves that thing. And along my way, 
I've also come to realize that talking too much or criticizing too much something that somebody hates does not st- something that somebody that talking too much or criticizing too much something that somebody loves does not get them to hate that thing but gets them to hate you I take it again criticizing and condemning too much something that somebody loves doesn't get them to hate that thing but get them to hate you you've been listening that that's along my way by uh, motani and as i tell you ladies and gentlemen it's trending on youtube and it's trending all over social media and also the instrumentals are also present on uh, motani's podcast his google apple podcast his radio public podcast his uh, spotify podcast and also his apple and google podcast you can always get there to get the instrumentals and to get along my way video there we get to realize and understand so many things about life not everybody who smiles with you is for you you get to understand that some people their personal business is to be obstacles but you need not worry but once you decide to be an obstacle to someone just know that and get ready to get knocked down and knocked out someday or today it begins today we are still on fm 98.5 dream fm network the radio for peace and development and the program you're listening to ladies and gentlemen is uh, motani your motivational talk show that comes up every thursday 1 to 2 p.m and saturdays from 6 to 7 p.m only on FM 98.5. And we are today still on. How do you get to spend quality time with first family, then business associates, then friends, then loved ones, in such a way that in a business, your product becomes desired by your customer more than any other product. Your service become desired by your customer more than any other service they will travel miles travel mountains cross rivers and waters just to get your product and that is because of the feeling that some people have built some the the, the relationship they are built with their customers and the feeling which they give their customers whenever they purchase a product or a service from them and when they have worked hard like that to do that the next thing you hear that say the ground they use makes it for sale the grand use makes it for do the one. The grand use makes it for do the one. Meanwhile, that person has invested his time. And each and every day, he keeps investing his time in building that rapport, building that relationship with his or her customer. So, rather than pointing fingers and criticizing, because they have never been a statue erected for a critic, just get to work and try to start building your own relationships with your first family then your customers, your business associates, your friends, and your loved ones. Stop sitting and pointing fingers. The energy you use to point fingers or to create stories about people because of what they've achieved or what they are achieving, the energy you can use to build your own legacy. How do you get to spend quality time with your family, friend, loved one, brother, sister, mother, father, cousins how do you get to spend quality time with them it's not about just come and sit in sitting with your cousin and pressing and punching from one facebook page to another or punching from one website to another or listening from one track to another with your earpiece oh no you don't really fear exam if you try that thing ah you don't really fear exam so how do you spend quality time once you have decided to go out of your way to come and sit and talk with you as to sit and listen to your customer to sit and listen with your cost to sit and listen to your customer then what do you do to make sure that okay this time that i've invested can it go well this time that i invested does it actually count to my customer to my wife to my brother to my sister to my friend to my partner that I'm spending quality time with them because it's not what you think but in the at the end of that little time do they get to feel or do they get to feel that you have spent quality time with them how do you get to ensure that at least by the end of that encounter they have that feeling that you care that you value them 
and that they you give them that feeling that they are your all and all. If you ever buy for uh, a Nigerian in this community, if you ever buy for them, if you ever buy from a Nigerian or maybe the family case, you get sometimes you buy from them, you feel like you're the only customer they've had for that day because of the feeling they give you, they make you feel like okay. You're the only person they've ever seen or the only person that, has, that, that is buying from them on that particular day. And if you don't buy from them, they will go bankrupt. So, when they give you that feeling, wait to happen. Next time, pam, now you died already, boss, go na day. You jump all kinds, shop them. Jump all kinds, shop them. They get quality put in them. For go back for that very Nigeria or that family came on. Why? Because of the feeling they gave you when you bought from them. So, how do we do that? First, once you don't take out time to spend some time with your customers, try for maintain eye contact with your customers. Try for maintain eye contact while your customer is talking. When I say in the society world, they so when you look at elderly person for the eye, for eye, they say that disrespect. But the truth is, some people feel disrespected. Some people feel you're sincere and some people feel you're confident. So you have to be able to decipher which kind of person your customer is. Is your customer's language, love language, the one makes your customer feel special? Is it quality time, spending quality time with them? Then when you sit with them, try to look them inside their eyes while they express their problem so that you can see whether your product can give them that solution or your service can provide them that solution. Try also when you chat with them, not for to do any other thing. Just focus on them. Even your phone, not even touch your phone while you talk with them. Not the browse while you talk with them. Not the listen to me. Not even put earphone for your ear, even if the music they off while you listen to them. Give them your undivided attention. Give them your undivided attention. And also, once that they express their problems, whether it's a family member, whether it's a, it's a partner, it's a child, it's a father, it's a sister, try as much as you can to, to listen for feelings. When we talk of listening for feelings, it is looking at them, reading their body language. What is their body language saying? What is their body language saying? And when you listen to your customers, when they try to explain the problem that they go through, so whether you get service or product, or if you help them, try as much as you can, no for interrupt them. Try as much as you can, no for interrupt them. It is very, very hard. Very, very hard for listen for them and no interrupt them. But you can do it. One of the techniques we have seen already on Motani's show. You can get it on Motani's podcast. Just type Motani on Google. On any platform, and you will get Motani's podcast, you get Motani's Facebook page, Motani's Twitter account, or why not get everything in one place? Just go to your browser and type www.motani.com. www.motani.com. M O T N I A T N N I.com. From there, you will get everything. You will get his articles, you will get his poems, you will get his podcast handles, and all that. One of the techniques you will see, if you go to those podcasts, you will see that one of the techniques to listen to somebody without interrupting them is to try to take deep breaths while you're talking with them. <sighs> while the person they talk, try for the breath from your stomach while that person they talk. Try for the breath from your stomach while that person they talk. Focus on them. That's the, one of the best ways to avoid interrupting while that person they talk. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we know we have a lot of things going on, a lot of entertaining shows we have. At this point, I want to say a big shout out to the Biggie 237 team. I want to say it's a great job and it's a great task you people have taken out there. And keep pushing, despite the criticisms, keep pushing because one day the sky will be your limit. I want to also say a big shout out to uh, one of the guys who just released an amazing and uh, a trending sound in town, Loic Sum 4. He released It's You just a few days ago. And uh, we have close to around 3,000 views already. You can check it on YouTube, Loic Sum 4. And that takes us to our next musical interlude. This is by uh, Sesh Wayne and Loic Sum 4. And they say it's your time. Listen to this. And remember, it is always your time. Don't say it is tomorrow. Don't say it is next week. Now is the time. 
Now is the time. If you say you can or you say you can't, remember you're always right. Now is the time. Yeah, it's your boy Sesh Wayne on this one. My life is like a clock. I got my hands moving back and forth, tick tock. But is it worth it? Moving back and forth, is it worth it? That's what I'm really thinking about. Cause I believe my time will come. Sesh Wayne, baby. My time will come. And I'll be whoever I wanna be. My time will come. And I'll be the greatest Oh Lord, please help me kill this pain Of doubt that I've got right in my brain Yeah, I'm a dream chaser A kid who's got dreams bigger than the universe put together I thank God, my heavenly father Who covers me all the time under any kind of weather When I see a new day, I'm like, thank you Lord you're the reason why I'm breathing. Thank you, God. For every single bad thing I've ever done, I just go down on my knees and I say that I'm sorry, Lord. But it's funny if you're a kid like me. I mean, I can't sleep at night because my dreams chase me in real life. I'm more worried than a housewife who's broke and needs to feed her kids before it turns night. But if you've got a dream, move towards it. If you've got a vision, Nigga, don't sleep. I know the road to success is kinda narrow. Yeah. But even if you fall, keep crawling till you get there. Oh mom, yeah. oh dad, oh dad. I'm gonna make you guys really proud. I know you see this music as a funny path that I'm taking. But from hands for my lyrics will be amazing. I just want people to look up to me. Uh -huh. And see I got inspired by Sesh Wayne. Damn, because of him I never gave up, I walked hard and finally I am who I am, god damn My time will come, yeah. tell me what I wanna be Whatever you wanna be, my time will come, All right. and I'll be the greatest Oh Lord please help me keep this that is Sesh Wayne, Sesh Wayne featuring Loic Sum for My Time Will Come. My Time Will Come. Your time is now. Your time has come. It is time for you to rise up and dominate. It is time for you to rise up and build that business, build that legacy, build that relationship that goes beyond time. Be patient and success will come your way. But why be impatient? Walk hard in every way. Yeah, walk hard in every way. Trust me, success will come your way. <laughs> My time will come. That's right. And I'll be whoever I wanna be. Whoever I wanna be. My time will come. Freedom. And I'll be the greatest. Oh Lord, please help me heal this pain of doubt that I've got right in my brain. Spectacular vocals there from Loic Sum 4. And uh, if you don't know this guy, check on him on, Lu on YouTube. He just released an amazing music. It's you. Loic Sum 4 and Sesh Wayne. My time will come. Thank you very much, Loic Sum 4, for keeping it up straight, for making Bamenda great again, for pushing, putting the Northwest on the map. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mutani will be on uh, apex anthology a live radio show a live radio show in the us of a he is going to be there live on sat on sunday 6 p.m he's going to be having a live interview with the host of that show that is uh, apex anthology a live radio show which is where motan is going to be revealing a lot of what he has been through how he got to where he is and uh, what the future holds as concerned his art which is spoken word poetry and also motivational speaking so how do you get to listen to that program you can always go to motani's page motani's facebook page just go to facebook type motani yo you can go to youtube type motani or instagram or twitter type motani because there you'll be able to follow that live interview on sunday 6 p.m make it a date on Sunday, 6 p.m. with Motani on the Apex Anthology Radio Show on Apex One Radio, the USFE.
We are moving into the second slot of the program, the second slot of the Motani Talk Show, which has to do with poetry. And you're going to be listening today to one of Motani's poems, one of Motani's poems. And uh, just stay tuned and you will enjoy it. It's titled Changing Me, Changing Me. When he realized, when Motani got to realize that it is not about changing others, but it's about changing yourself, then you can change the world. When God said, Go Motani and make the world a better place, I wondered so dismayed and asked, Lord, the world is a very vast place, and how do you expect an insignificant someone like me to make this negative world better? With a smile, he said, Just be a better you. Then I realized only a better me can build a better you. Only a better me can be the original. I suffered so long waiting for your approval, not knowing I was heading for survival. Rather than I suffered so only a better me can be the original. I suffered so long waiting for your approval, not knowing I was heading for survival, rather than answering this tough call. Now I know and call to your attention. As I break free this prison, I am here for a reason. This is my season. For I am peeling off my bad habit in tears as if peeling an onion. One layer at a time like a minion. For I am no longer a slave, but I am a son. Starting, standing up right like an iron, I am shooting for the moon, casting my eyes onto Zion, praying for triumph with the heart of a lion. Everybody will receive their crosses, even bosses. You cannot deceive the process. I, have, I am not a human being having a spiritual experience, but I am a spiritual being having a human experience. I will work with all the strength in my back, all the skill in my hands, and all the cunning in my mind to get Noah's Ark. I will claim for myself the good things of life without strife. I have the right to life. I will not be one of those who stand afar off by and watch others enjoy. I will not be content to clothe myself in the cheapest raiment that looked like a toy. I will make myself a guest at the banquet of good things. Think me greedy if you care. Ungo Jesu, for I came as bare as you are. No more using my time to change you, for I have a full-time job changing me. I am changing my mind from I am never too much to I am always enough. I am changing my mind from there is little available for me to there is always enough. From not giving to the more I give, the more I have. I am standing on my feet saying, saying no to what seems like defeat. What, what lies in front of me and what lies behind me matters little compared to what lies within me. I am no longer in the world, but the world. I am no longer in the world, but the world is in me. I am changing me, for only a better me can be the original. Oh, 
Wotani, Wotani. Always search whatever you're looking at, whatever you're worried about on Google. Always search whatever you're looking or worried about on Google. Because if you do not find the answer there, then you will find a better way to ask the question. If you do not find the answer there, you will find a better way to ask the question. It's been Motani on FM 98.5. Dream FM, the radio for peace and development. Benefiting from the technical and experiential assistance of To Clinton and Station Boss, Real Hour Maker Power. And also, special thanks to YG Incorporated, Curious Minds Book Club, The Greens International, and uh, Graphy Fine Arts for their moral and uh, their moral support. For contributions and to continue being unstoppable, relentless, and inspired to achieve more and be more. Get to me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest with the handle Motani, M-O-T-A-T-N-I. Or on WhatsApp or Telegram, you can also get me for conferences to do motivational talks, to train your employees, and also to do spoken word pieces on the number 695-614-947. 695-614-947. Until next edition, ladies and gentlemen, bask in the flame of your own greatness. And remember, Mia, Kakatonto, Beriwo, Beriwe, Ayongna, Jika, Neki.